everybody, it's Dana. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and blog. I am going to be participating in the 2017 Spring Coffee Lovers Blog Hop. So that means we're going to have a coffee themed card. So I'm using the What's Brewing stamp set from Simon Says Stamp. And I'm also going to grab a sentiment from the Coffee Talk stamp set from Altino. This is going to be a pretty simple, clean and um, simple card. So I'm going to grab my Misty to make this happen. You guys know that if you watch my videos or you see me on Periscope, I live by coffee. I do. I have to admit it. I live by coffee. <laughs> coffee and chocolate covered sprinkle donuts. So anytime I can participate in a coffee lover's blog hop, I am there. So today I'm going to be doing a little bit of coloring with some alcohol markers. So I'm going to use some Memento Tuxedo Black ink for my ink today. So I'm going to go ahead and get my image stamped up and then I can go ahead and plop it down. I don't have to add a lot of pressure. I'm just going to make sure that I have everything nicely and evenly on my card. Voila, we're good. I can go ahead and take my Misty out the way and we are good to go to start some coloring. So for my alcohol markers today, I'm using the Color It markers. Um, I did a review on these markers and I'll make sure to link that right above here so you guys can see it. And I really love these markers and I pulled them out for the video today. Let me go ahead and move the markers out the way and kind of zoom in so you guys can see the coloring up close and personal. Sorry for the shaking. I am using a different setup until my studio is complete. So um, please don't pay attention to the shaking. I'm really sorry about that. So okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and get started on the coloring. I kind of sped this up a little bit. I'm just doing basic coloring. What I kind of, how I color is just to lay down a base color, making sure that I keep all of, while I'm coloring, I keep the edges of where I last colored wet. So I just kind of make little circles and continue to go all the way across the edge until I am complete with my image. And then I just fill in the corner. Easy peasy, nothing fancy. Now there are plenty of dynamic, and I mean dynamic colorists out there. I have to say, I'm not one of them yet. And you hear that, I said yet, because you know, practice makes perfect, right? All right, so I started off with a lighter color. Now I'm gonna go into a darker blue to make um, some areas of shading. I have colored in the past and I kind of stopped coloring and went to making more backgrounds and stuff, but I really miss it. So I'm coming back and stepping up my color game again and I'm really happy. That's why I like to participate in the Daily Marker, which is Kathy's color challenge, her 30 day color challenge, because it really makes me get right back into what I really love to do and I really love to color. So I'm glad she has these uh, challenges every couple of months to make me really break back into the, to what I love to do. So I'm just adding a little bit of shading to my mug here. First I started out with just putting the darker color directly onto my mug and now I'm just using the tip to tip method just to add a little bit of shading. So I'm gonna add a little bit of shading onto the left side of my image. And tip to tip just means, as you can see here, I'm just taking the tip of the lighter marker and rubbing it onto the tip of the darker marker just to pull off some of that color, that darker color. But you don't have to worry about ruining your markers because you are actually scribbling, should I say, the darker color off when you color into your image. And whatever residue you have left, you can scribble off to a scratch paper, a uh, piece of paper rather. But I'm not worried about that today because we're just enjoying the process. So I'm just going to continue to add a little bit more shading to one side of the mug to get it just a tad bit darker. And for this part, it was just a little bit too light on that side of the mug. So I went back in with that darker color and just added a tad bit of color directly to my image. Now you can do this with Copic markers, you can do this with Spectrum Noir markers, any kind of alcohol marker is great for blending. So I'm now going to take one of the sentiments from the Coffee Talk stamp set from Altenew and place that directly into the center of my mug. I'm just going to use an acrylic block 
to pick this uh, sentiment up and plop it right down in the middle of my cup. I really think this is the cutest little sentiment. I hope you perk up soon. So sweet. Voila, right in the middle. Isn't it cute? Precious. Now I need to go ahead and make sure I have some coffee in my mug. And my coffee is always film, filled with a lot of cream and sugar. Always. <laughs> now my coffee mug is like floating. So I need to make sure that my coffee mug is settled down on my piece of paper. So I'm just using one of the lighter gray markers just to make sure that I ground my coffee mug. And this is one of the things I will say is kind of important when you are coloring is to make sure your images are grounded on your paper. Otherwise, they kind of just look like they're floating and they have no place to land. So like I said, I'm not a color expert, but I will say anytime you're coloring something, make sure they're grounded on your paper. That's one thing that I do remember when I was taking some color classes. Make sure that you ground your image. So I did light and dark, and now I'm going to go back in with a darker gray just to make sure there's a little bit more shadow underneath my coffee mug. Now, I'm going to add some sun rays out of my coffee mug because, you know, my coffee wakes me up, and I literally see sun rays after I drink my coffee. So I'm going to use some masking tape to hold down my stencil. And this stencil, if I remember correctly, is from the Crafters Workshop. I'm going to grab some squeezed lemonade distress ink and a blending tool. And I'm just going to add in a little bit of like sun rays or like happiness, glitter marks or sunshine <laughs> coming out of a coffee mug. Because you see, before I drink my coffee, I'm like dead to the world. There's nothing fun and happy about me. So I'm going to take a little bit of peek and I'm like, nope, nope. It needs a little bit more sun rays. It needs something else coming out of that coffee. So I'm gonna just add a little bit more of that Distress Ink. And ah, that looks so much better. Look, my coffee's like, wake up, wake up, perk up. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and get this cart put together. So I'm gonna cut down my card panel just a little bit. I'm gonna trim that off. And then I'm going to go ahead and mount this on some Nina Solar White. This is 110 pound cardstock. I'm just using my cutter here just to make a score line so I can fold my cardstock in half. Now to play along on the Coffee Lovers Blog Hop, it does not have to be just a coffee mug. It could be a teacup, it can be hot cocoa, whatever you want. All right, so I also wanna add some springy type paper into here, so I'm going to grab some paper from Lawn Fawn. I love this perfectly plaid paper, so I'm just gonna grab some of the scraps because I never throw away this paper, ever. And I'm just going to match some of these colors up to my coffee mug. And you know what? I think I'm gonna give this card to my husband. So I'm gonna add that red and blue. Keep it a little bit masculine. So I'm going to grab my tape runner and I'm gonna go ahead and set that onto my card. But I'm gonna keep it not directly to the edge, but I'm going to leave a little bit of white, like a little bit of a white border. And I'm gonna leave just a little bit of that plaid hanging out to the side. My husband had a terrible, terrible sinus infection and I'm gonna have him perk up with this cute little card and I'm gonna give him a good old strong cup of coffee. All right, so I'm gonna trim off that plaid paper across the top and I need to trim off some of my paper at the bottom. It wasn't cut very evenly. All right, so that is nice and clean, but you guys know me, I gotta add just two or three Nouveau drops. So I grabbed the blue, so it's going to match my coffee mug. So I'm gonna put one there and one maybe down here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab my red to pull in the red from that plaid paper. And all right, we are done. We are coffee inspired, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.